Firefighters want to know if lightning sparked several house fires this morning. Two works for you anchor Will Dupree is live in Claremore where a house was hit. Will. Well, Brian, firefighters say a bolt of lightning struck this small house here outside Claremore uh, just about 7 o'clock this morning. You can see where the lightning actually came through the roof right there. It blew off sh uh, some of the shingles and tore off some of the siding and some of the wood that you see here and burned a piece of it uh, when that lightning hit. A loud boom woke up a woman inside this Claremore home. The exploding sound came from a bolt of lightning striking the edge of her roof. And it just blew shingles and boards everywhere. John Roberts rents the house to the woman and her husband living here. He says it's somewhat surprising to find out lightning caused the fire. It's never hit this house before, and this house has been here for at least 70 years. A Claremore fire marshal says lightning is rarely the cause of house fires in the city. In an eight, nine year span, I've only had two others that were just absolute clear cut. This was lightning. Tulsa firefighters say it's possible lightning caused another house fire early this morning in North Tulsa. The fire started in the attic and forced two people and their three dogs out of the house. A firefighter was also shocked while trying to shut off the home's utilities. He's not wanting to go, but we want him to go to get checked because uh, electric to the body you know, could cause some other injuries that we may not know about internal, so we want him checked out. We're told doctors looked at that Tulsa firefighter and already sent him home from the hospital. The uh, tree doesn't look like it was even hit. And I don't know Meanwhile, in Claremore, John is just thankful his tenants are okay too. Nobody is hurt, so you know, when money won't fix it, you've got a real problem. And you can see where the firefighters got into the attic this morning to put out that small fire. The couple who lived here is now staying with some local family members. Find out when they're going to be able to come back home. Coming up tonight on Two Works For You at 6. Reporting live in Claremore, Will Dupree, Two Works For You.